Hello you guys, welcome to our vlog. Today is Shad's second day off of work. Yesterday, we stayed home. We didn't go anywhere, I don't even, no, I didn't go outside. You took the kids outside for a little bit to the park while I made dinner. Yeah, but we walked over to the park. That's as far as I went though. Otherwise, we did nothing. But today, we're gonna go somewhere. Are you Hulk smash? Yeah, you got guys. What? You got guys. Okay. Hi, Keaton. It's pretty windy outside today, unfortunately. I've heard about the Las Vegas wind, but haven't really experienced it. Yesterday, holy cow. Not only was it windy, but there was a huge dust storm that came in from the desert. So we couldn't have windows open. So I actually had to turn on the AC because it was hot. It was like 80 degrees in here last night and it was just stuffy and like dead air. You know, so I turned on the air. Today I thought it was a little bit better. The temperature is perfect and it's gorgeous. Oh, oh it feels amazing. Doesn't it feel good, Keaton? I see blue sky. Last night, the dust was like blocking the mountains, and this is the best. Come out here in November in eating shorts, tonight. eating some candy and a bar. This is pretty nice, huh? Sometimes I look up the weather where we used to live up in Washington, and because Kennedy's still up there, so I want to see what her weather's like. But now it is like every day it's rain, clouds, dreary, and I'm like, I don't miss it at all. Yeah, we just had a big gust of wind and it like freaked us out, but the kids said they still want to stay out here. So I don't think I should put the umbrella up though. That'll blow over. Really quickly, just an update on that white film that we've had on everything. After talking with a few of all of you, I think it's our hard water. I notice it in the bathroom. I notice it on our kitchen faucet. I notice it um, in the laundry room. Then we started running the humidifier oh, like almost all day and night. Sure enough, yeah, so I think it's the hard water deposit from the water, like calcium and whatever other sediment elements, whatever are in there. I think it's I think it's that. I mean, I felt it in my hair ever since we moved here. I can tell the water's hard, but then I looked it up, and Las Vegas has like one of the highest hard water levels in the country. I'm like, yeah, okay, I see it. And also, update, our Christmas tree that we ordered last week, it was like stuck in transit forever and it was supposed to be delivered last Thursday and then I got a notice from Amazon and they were like oh it's now it's not gonna be till Sunday and then on Sunday it was like if it doesn't come today come back for a refund and I'm like oh. sure enough we never got it so today's Tuesday I ordered a new one yesterday we have officially moved in the delivery process like you know you can see where your order is being tracked now it says it's out for delivery we were never at that point with the other trees so this tree is out for delivery should be here today and this is like the viral tree from Amazon so I'm super excited to get it. I think we have an exciting delivery here. All of a sudden, A-L-E-X-A -E just went off. Oh, it's here. Oh my goodness. Is it heavy? Daddy! <laughs> That's just so heavy. You just can't get it. You try it. Carson, are you trying to get it? Give me, a, give me your best Hulk lift. Carson, it's see if, can Hulk lift the box? Let's try it. No. I mean, it says it's like pretty lifelike, so. Every single day. Good luck. When I open the door and I come back inside, my hair gets stuck to that. It's 38 pounds. Oh, what? that's all? Okay. I mean, that's kind of heavy. Probably not as heavy as our last Christmas tree. I think it's, it's uh, bottom heavy. You're used to that. <laughs> With me, I'm saying. Grab you like this, put you over my shoulder. Don't don't break it. That's precious cargo. Heavy objects. See, team that's lift what I'm required. Doing I'm gonna do it you. It says team lift required. What are you talking about, Willis? Yeah, it literally says team lift required. Try not to gag. Keaton told us that Carson was poopy. I think Shad just went to check and he stuck your finger in some doo-doo, huh? Yeah, I was way up high. I just went to like tech. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've been having issues with my phone all almost all day yesterday and today. Now I've just been on like chat and the phone with Apple and finally got it fixed. So now I can help Shad. We gotta lift this couch. It's just our smaller love seat. I think we're gonna store it in the garage for the holiday season. And then, you know, if we have family come, we can bring it back in temporarily. But for now, it's just us. We don't need it. And we'll have more room for the tree. So we gotta get this thing out into the garage. Shad just made room. Great. Carson's driving, apparently. Well, maybe not. Keaton's gonna sit in the front. He just has to pull the car out of the garage so we can move the couch in there. Now they're switching. Keaton's driving. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, I'm out of breath. I did help Shad yeah, a little bit. Be great. I, <laughs> thought I, was gonna do it all over my, I thought I was gonna have to lift it up over my head. Well, you could have done it. You're super strong. I'm more afraid of like bugs and spiders and stuff getting in there and it's like, I mean we could cover it with a tarp or something that would help keep off dust and everything but bugs or scorpions or whatever, they're gonna get in there no matter what. But I, I don't think it's like spider or scorpion season in Las Vegas, is it? Please tell me no. <laughs> I don't know. Carson, are you opening up the Christmas tree? Yeah. Yeah? Because I'm so excited, it's pre-lit. Look what we have on. I'm not trying to show music, but can you tell? It was what like it? orange. Somebody tell me what movie this is. Oh, Carson is so excited. Leave the stand there, okay? He just helped me set the stand down there. I think it's a good spot for the tree in that little random nook. So this is the seven and a half foot tree. It's all put together. We're having a fluffing party right now. So it's not, it's not all done, but it's so realistic. Like it looks like it has an actual tree trunk. The ends have like this thick plastic and the inside is like the filler stuff. Kitten's plugging it in. Can you get it? Okay, come out here. All right, here comes Keaton. She looks like the Grinch coming out from under the tree. Okay, now you two can hold that button together or hold it together and on the count of three, then you guys press the button. One, two, three. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, we didn't. We didn't plug in the middle strand. You didn't? No. Oh, okay. Oh, but it's pretty. Just the bottom half. Okay, we have success. Yay! We have a full like Christmas tree. What do you think, Carson? Do you like it? <laughs> do you like it? Okay, so we have this weird nook in our living room, which nothing fits in there. I thought the tree would look good, and, and it does, it looks fine, but I'm kind of thinking I want it over in this corner next to the TV, so when we're watching Christmas movies, then the tree is right there, and then that shelf that I put in the entryway will put back over here. You got it? Okay, are you sure? You're far away from the fan, so you're good. Yeah, I forgot about that. All right, plug in this one in, and then we'll scoot it back. Thanks, Carson. <laughs> One time. Stop. Remember, thank you. Go ahead and move so that you can move the tree. Scoot over here, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Our tree is up. We're gonna head out and grab some dinner. But really quickly, I just wanted to address something and I just have shout like, should I even say anything? I don't know. But we've gotten a couple comments about like, oh, you guys eat out a lot or whatever. And I just want to clarify, number one, remember, you see just a snippet of our week so you don't know like maybe when it was we ate out or when we do eat at home, I don't always share that. However, yes, I do like to eat out. And that's okay. Like if you don't, that's fine, but I do. Being here in Las Vegas, there are literally never ending food options. There are so many choices. So it's fun for us to be able to go try new places. And then also for vlogging purposes, I mean, honestly, our hope is that maybe our channel will grow by sharing different places around Las Vegas, whether that's food or, you know, touristy attractions, whatever it is, that by sharing things to do here, that maybe our channel will grow because people will find our channel and watch how we as a family navigate living in Las Vegas. Having a YouTube channel, um, it helps to go places that people enjoy seeing and people enjoy doing and food, no matter what area you're in and YouTube, food is a huge area of interest and people like to see, especially in Las Vegas. Part of the reason when we are going out to eat is that we get to enjoy fun places, but also doing it for the vlog because people like food. With that said, we are going to go eat some Mexican food tonight. And it is a place that Shad has talked about and wanted to go ever since we moved here. And I think I first looked up the menu and I was like, oh, that's too authentic. Like there's gonna be a fish, a whole fish laying on the plate and I don't, you know, I didn't know there was anything there because I'm kind of picky. I didn't know if there was anything there that I would like or the kids would like, but there totally is. So I'll let Shad tell you where we're gonna go eat. Of course, we're gonna bring you with us and enjoy some good Mexican food. We are going to Lindo Michoacan, which is like Michoacan is like a, I think it's a state. Everybody says Lindo Michoacan or even Bonito Michoacan, their sister restaurants, top one or two in Las Vegas. That's all I hear. 
and we haven't been there, so let's do it. Maui, do you want to go eat? Yeah. All right. Keaton, you hungry? Yeah. Oh, we got started. How fun is this? Ah, it's really cool. They have a whole, like, this whole glass window back here. And we'll show you the view later, but you can see all of Las Vegas. All right, we got chips and salsa and beans. And don't worry, not one, but two. I haven't seen anybody order it, but they do have the fresh whole fish here if you want it. It's a really fun atmosphere in here. I got sports playing, big bar if you like that. Okay, the second restaurant here, Mexican food restaurant, that they bring this soup. Fogoa. F I E D. Video? R O. Oh. I don't know. Something, something like that. It's, like it's just noodles. Yeah, noodles. Tomato soup with noodles or something. It's good. Really good. You want that one? Carson likes the soup. It's good, huh? Yeah. Take it. my gosh, you guys. I got nachos. Red Robin fries. <laughs> Red Robin fries. Carson got a burrito and he likes it. He's like, in Mexican food, this is so good. <laughs> Showing everybody himself. And then look at Shaz, he got like a combo, enchiladas, and a burrito, and a taco. It's a little bit hot right now with the rice. There it is. So good. I know, I like that. Good job, dude. Hey, you're in, you're in there, Kevin. So we all loved, loved, loved our food, but Shad is full. This is what happens when you lose in weight, stomach strength yeah, and stuff. I had like chips and Yeah, soup. soup. So. Yeah, but you have a full meal there. Another like meal and a half. You didn't even try your taco. <laughs> so good though. I totally would come back here. Carson was so worried that we were gonna take his soup away. He's like, no, no, and then he grabs it and starts drinking it. You know your husband's a server when he starts clearing the table and arranging all the stuff. Just being polite, huh? Never no, never. We never did before, even, no. but now we're just even more conscious of it, I think. It's items. Yeah. Yeah. We were wondering if they had outside seating, and they do. Nobody's out here right now because it's chilly, but. Yeah. <laughs> Is this just the only small patio they have for outside? I don't know. I, I so far? See, I can't see all the way around the back. If you want a good view of the strip, Come to Lindo, Mitchum, Wakan, <laughs> and Henderson. They have the best, like, guys. when you leave, there's like these candies or something. Like, they're like know. lime and cream. Mm. Soda. Yeah. <laughs> we were like, we need that whole basket. <laughs> you guys, the view is amazing. It's a little windy, you know, like we said earlier today, but you can see. Mama over the whole Mama. Las Vegas Valley. Did daddy give you a lick of his candy? Yeah. Oh mm. my gosh. We weren't letting him have one because it's hard candy. I don't let him have hard candy. So Chad told him it was spicy. So it's hard to tell on camera, you guys, but you can see all the way down to Fremont. Mm -hmm. Here you can see Circa. Yeah. And then literally the whole strip. Oh, there's the Durango. I don't know if I can get it on camera, but right? Oh, it's a shadow on my finger, but there's a gold section sticking up clear against the sky mountain over there. That's where we live. What that brightness right there is South Point. When we were gonna get the candies and stuff, Dad got one first. 
and then I wanted to get one because I was like, mm, what is that? Because like you said, like, is it chocolate or something? And then, and then I grabbed one, and then Daddy said, and no, it's spicy. And then I was like, and then I put it back in the basket because I thought it was actually going to be spicy. All right, we're home with a tired little boy. Thanks for watching Loads Life, and we're going to decorate that wonderful Christmas tree. Yeah,